What is up everybody, my name is Garfield, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Redstone Trap. Now, guys, as you guys probably read in the title, and some of you might be wondering what they are, today we're going to be talking about data packs, and we're actually going to be installing and testing out some data packs here on the survival. Uh, the reason for these is that some of these are really fun and uh, generally helpful, so we're going to take a look at them and, uh, you know, have some fun with data packs. And, uh... All the data packs I'll be using, and I might install some crafting tweaks, but if I do, I'll uh, let you guys know at the end of the episode, because right now I don't have that planned. Um, but all the data packs I use are going to be from Vanilla Tweaks, and this is all on Exuma Void's website. And I uh, highly advise you guys to check it out. The link for the Vanilla Tweaks page is in the description, and uh, once we get into the data packs themselves, we'll get into the credits. But yeah, let's switch over to the data packs website. Okay guys, so um, you can see here that we are looking at data packs. Now what are data packs? Data packs are modifications to your game that allow you to stay in vanilla, don't have cheat, not to have cheat codes or anything, and still have a lot of fun with some modifications that just enhance the game. Now there, they have a lot of them here. Uh, sure, some of them can be really useful, but we're not really going to be looking into many of them. Uh, there are a few that I want. The first one is the customiz customizable armor stands. This is so awesome, and we're going to play around with it in just a little bit. It's going to be amazing. Then double shulker shells. That's just to make life easier. Gem villagers. We'll get to that in a second. More mob heads. That's actually really cool for the customizable arm stand, armor stands. Um... Then terracotta ro rotation wrench. This is good to make pretty builds, so we're gonna keep that in mind. Uh, treasure gems, of course. Customer villager chops. We're only gonna use these two. Um, actually, no, that that's my bad. Yeah, we, we don't need that. We need that. There we go. Um, I'm gonna do durability ping just because I can get distracted, and that pings the elytra. I'm pretty sure, so that's really cool. And I'm gonna do these three for, um, actually, you know what, no, I like explorers. I don't, but they're part of the game and we're gonna keep that. All these do are make the game a little bit more fun for me and uh, make it, uh, little, the customizable armor stands are incredible. I'll show you guys in a bit. They're absolutely amazing. We're not gonna be exploring gem villagers just this episode, I don't think. Um, mostly because I don't really want to show it off, I want to make a proper area for it, and probably around the spawn, and make it really cool. So, leave that for another episode. Today we are going to try out the customizable armor stands. So, I'm going to install this. If you guys have any doubts on how to do it, you can just go to installation process. But it's really easy, I'm not going to guide you through it, because I actually have to see my computer files, and I don't feel like blurring out images. So yeah, I'll see you back in MC. Okay guys, so I was just taking a look at uh, crafting tweaks, and these are the ones I went with. Most of these are just to make my life simpler. Wool to string, rotten flesh to leather, rotten flesh just doesn't have a use. <clears throat> uh, four bark blocks, this is just I, so you don't waste wood. This is just generally useful. Um, these two are also generally useful. And universal dyeing is also making my life easier. So I'm gonna install this, and uh, yeah, that that's all I'm gonna install. So you guys know the full list. Okay, guys, now we're back in MC, and we have our data packs. Uh, today we're gonna be exploring, and most prominently, we're gonna be exploring the armor stand data pack. Now I had to use some trickery to get this, but uh, it wasn't nothing too bad. I'll leave the link to Exuma's video. He has a tutorial on it. It's very complex and very nice. I just watched it to learn how to use this. Um, and if you notice this flying stone, yeah, there we go. I don't even know where you are. Hello? Hello? There we go. And uh, can I give you a stick to hold on the other hand? No, I can't. Okay. Ah, don't give me back my book. We need that book. Okay. Let me know. Style visible. There we go. Style show stand. Where is it? Uh, basically, there we go. Okay, and uh, if I just style and 
there we go. That's the basic armor set. And you can see this isn't magic. This is just a regular armor stand. And uh, this book allows me to manipulate it. So I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it arms to begin with because that's useful. And I'm gonna give it a, a stick. Now we're gonna met. No, give me my book. Take your stick. Okay. So post preset attention. Ooh, his arms are all straight. That looks really cool. Let me get some armor on this guy. I don't have a head though. I'll give him a pumpkin head. Okay, these boot boots might actually. Oh, this entire armor. That has feather flying for. Okay, I'm gonna give it to him just because. And I'm gonna get a pumpkin and carve him out a head just because I need to give him something. I need shears, shears, shears. There we go. And we have plenty of pumpkins. Uh, basically, what this allows me to do is create. Oh god, this is full already. No, sorry. Thank you. Okay, no, I don't want to equip it. I need to get my wither skeleton head. And uh, there you go. And now, if I use the book style, stand visible. No. There we go. Now he seems like he's walking. This looks so goddamn awesome. Let me see if I can name him. Um, by the way, I think you should get, I should show the credits because this is incredible, uh -huh. genuinely incredible. And I, I'm gonna be using this a lot for decoration. Stargazing. Ooh, that looks cool. Let me give you a cheer. No, that's dumb. The stick looks fine. Hit the starves with your stick, pumpkin man. Confused. Oh, he's scratching the back of his head. He's has four legs. Uh, no. Okay. Formal. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna take that from your hand. No. Not what I wanted. I wanted what was in your hand. Can I get what was in your hand? There we go, thank you. There we go, he's very formal. Oh my god, this is gonna be so much fun. Do you guys see why I wanted to install this? Like, this does not influence the gameplay in the slightest, but it's just... I have a pumpkin man behind me. Just look at the guy. Pumpkin head. Hello, Mr. Pumpkin head. And he's posing in a formal pose. There's a lot to this, like seriously, you can do so much blocking. Oh, he probably could use a shield here. Okay, that's fair enough. Let me see if I have any shields, because I know you can give him secondary hand items, or at least, no, I don't have a shield. At least I'm pretty sure you can, but... Yeah, this is really cool. Sitting. Oh, that is epic. Oh my god, can I drop him onto... Ha! <laughs> He's sitting on the floor. Okay, I can deal with this. And now, I'm pretty... No, give me my book back. Wait, I, let me put him visible. And move his arms, okay. And let me... No, don't worry, the carved pumpkin, please. Ooh, see? Tool durability low. Okay. But, ooh, we got new advancements. Vanilla Tweaks advancements, okay. Vanilla Tweaks, this this I didn't know. Armor stand and it's a unique book that allows you to alter properties of armor stands. Make shulkers drop twice as many shells. Adds a chance to receive a mob head upon killing it. I'm gonna try this soon. Terracotta rotation, we're not gonna try that because we don't have terracotta yet. Adds a chance for treasure treasure gems to spawn inside loot chests. Used to jam villagers. There we go. And durability ping. As you guys can see, this is why I wanted to do this. Uh, now I need to get a mob head. How the hell am I gonna get a mob head? This is this might be a pain to do, but actually I can get sheep head, etc. Can't I? So I can just kill these guys. I don't even need to go hunt for phantom. That was. Quick, I forgot the sword is overpowered. 
but yeah, you the main objective to have the mob heads is um, to use the mob heads on the armor stands. It looks so funny, uh, especially uh, missing the name, the guys, the flying ones. Phantoms. There we go. That was being hard and squids. Phantoms and squids. Let me see if I can get a squid head. I actually need ink sacs either way, so. Ooh, they pop out ink now. That's fun. Also, I'm pretty sure there was a way. I think you smelt these. There is so much to explore. You can also get salmon heads, that I know. Because Hermit Craft is currently being played by a salmon head. No. <gasps> There we go! We got a salmon head! Oh my god. Dun 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 dun! That looks epic. See, this is what I mean. And now I can go and dye these things. Let me dye them black. Can I dye them black like this? Yeah, I can. Awesome. And where are the pants? There we go. Now let me get the armor stand out. Pants. Shoes. Oh. And book. I need to keep this book because it's being us no. And pose prison. Cupid. Cannot trigger this objective yet. Okay. When can you? Oh! <laughs> okay, that's fun. See, now we have a salmon head. This is why data packs are really fun. Confused. I'm like, you stay confused right over here, and they don't despawn, by the way, which is also incredible. And I'm going to try something else out because I installed the data pack that allows me to get. Shh. Actually, I can try another thing. I, I want to try the crafting tweaks. Um. Let me get black dye, black glass, and red dye. Okay, let me see if this works. I'm supposed to be able to dye glasses every color now. So I don't have to have pure glass. Yes, it works. Oh my god, that's a lifesaver right there. And if I am not mistaken, I need some gold here. I believe I can now... No, that's not how you do it. Okay. Hmm, I need to figure out how to do these things. Um, what else? Ooh, logs, of course. So, I should get four logs for this, instead of one or whatever. Yes! It works! I'm generally having these data packs. I don't know if you guys understand. This is going to help me so much building and just generally help me. Especially end raiding, because I need to go end raiding again. I need more shulkers, and yeah, killing shulkers can be annoying without looting. But this fixes most of our problems. Also, I'd like to just show you guys. This is, there's already another double chest and a hopper filled there. And I'm pretty sure the system's backed up. I haven't checked these farms in a while. Let me see how the villager farm's doing. It was pretty full when I got that villager out, but I had to, I actually had to kill some, because the, I killed them with fire though. Holy! Oh, okay, I might have to pour lava in there. That, that's an infinite station right there. Uh, now you can see the salmon head from back here. So yeah, these data packs are... Oh my god! We got them! Okay, okay guys. I think we did it. I think we did it. Yes! This is a completely random episode, I just realized that. Hello, Mr. Pillager! How are you today? Are you happy walking around peacefully? He doesn't attack me, see? And I can I can even release the village. I'm not because he's gonna mess with our farms, but... This is awesome. I'm genuinely happy about that. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, so... Data packs are fun. I'm gonna leave the links down below in my complete list. If you guys didn't follow one video, that's fine. You don't have to rewatch it, it's gonna be in the description. I always leave the detailed descriptions of everything. And I'm gonna leave the armor stand tutorial by Izuma. 
Uh, if you go to the Vanilla Tweaks uh, website, you can see basically every tutorial. Uh, honestly, they're really well done. I mean, they're, you know, they do their job, they explain to you uh, what each thing does, and uh, some of them are really cool. I want to mess around with villager ge gem villagers, that's it. Um, but I'm going to do that at spawn when I build. You can also see this triggers a function, but, you know, it, I'm not giving myself anything. I'm moving an armor stand. That looks really cool. Um, but, yeah. Well, Jesus. That's all I got time for today, folks. I'm sorry. This really had to be a quick episode because I'm running very low on time right now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to your channel, and that's it for today, folks. I'm out. Peace.